Good morning. Road construction ahead. That's not a sign you see on the trail very often. <laughs> it is just before seven. We're late. We thought we'd be out at six with hopes of doing a 21, but yeah, it just didn't happen. We didn't wake up. Mushroom and hot dog were out of six. Um, maybe they're going to do the 21, but we're going to just go however far we go. And if it's 21, great. And if it's not, we'll get in tomorrow. Um, we survived the rain well. The pitch of the tent was good. Right? Breakfast. Oh, second breakfast. Oh. But yeah, the weather's supposed to clear today. And uh, we're just going to enjoy the woods. Whoop, I shut it off before Rich had something to say. What would you have to say, bud? So... This far up the trail, I adjusted my pack, the elevators on the back, and made it a lot more comfortable. It's so funny how you cruise along with something that's not right, and you just get used to it. This is like walking on a sidewalk. We've been on the slab <laughs> for a while now. Uh, can't complain about the trail for sure. Yeah, the woods are beautiful. We are going to be going up Moxie. I'm not sure if we'll have a view or not. That's what we're doing now, right? I guess. Yeah. Um, there's a bad weather bypass that some people say, if there's no views, just take it. But as long as it's not raining, we'll, we'll go ahead and climb up it. That is a Summit Bypass Trail, which everybody says is a really nice trail. <laughs> but the weather is not dangerous. So we're going to huff it up and have no view. We will not, however, take the side trail to the summit because that's truly pointless. This is a cave. It's not really a cave. Maybe there's a cave farther in. Yeah, there's a cave. I'm not going in there. Um, oh, maybe this is a cave. There's lots of caves. This is kind of cool. Good place to get out of the rain. We're not too far from the summit. And it's still just socked in. So sad. It was so socked in, we missed what was supposedly the view. <laughs> oh well. Moxie, we tried. Um, there's apparently a trail up here somewhere to go to the summit. It's not on far out. But the summit of the mountains, not on the trail. So we'll just keep going up. But I don't think we're going to see anything but clouds. This is sort of neat. Glad we don't have to go over them. Here's a view from Moxie. Looks a lot like the view from Stokoa Gap, Klingman's Dome, Stratton, so many. Oh well, there's a cool cairn. I guess we're gonna go the rest of the way up and start going down. So the summit is literally like <laughs> yards. <laughs> so we'll go over there and be sad. I saw some really beautiful pictures of what it looks like on a nice day. And here we are on the summit. Such an amazing view. <laughs> oh yes, this is gorgeous. Yeah, what'd you say, Rich? Glad we bagged this one. Yeah, we bagged it. Whoa, I can't even see Rich and he's like, not a hundred feet behind me. I, I suck at distance. He could be a hundred yards behind me. I don't think so. That's not a football field. 
Anyway, he will be emerging <laughs> from the mist. You still can't see him. There, oh, I'm starting to see him. Man, you can get lost up here really easily. If it's bad weather and you come up here, take the bypass, trust me. Oh, we got, we got some artifacts here, but that's where the Summit Bypass rejoins us. Um, and now we are 1.8 from Oxybald Lean To. So, hat was not terrible. I don't regret going, even though we couldn't see anything, because it was still cool. And now we're just going to keep plunking along and see how far we can get. We have to go down a lot, like a thousand feet. And then we go back up again. Yes, because that's how we roll. And that's a blue blaze to go to the Moxie Bald Northern Peak. Um, we're not going to do that. It is starting to finally lift up. Um, this is a first real view of any substance we've had this morning. By the time people get up there, I would say 11 o'clock, there'll be views on top of Moxie. It takes a while for that stuff to lift off. It starts at the lower elevations first. Not exactly cruisy path today. No. Well, there's a little bit of a view. Oxy Ball Lean 2 Trail is there. We're not going to be going there. Horseshoe Canyon's nine miles ahead. That's where originally we thought about stopping, so we'll just have to see. Uh, it's just under four miles from last shelter, and uh, we could have easily done it yesterday if we'd have taken the bad weather bypass. So if you come out of 201 at 7 o'clock, on a good day, you can easily make it here in one day. Yeah, the shelter's right there. You can see it. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. Um, and then you could make it into Shaw's probably in two days. Well, we just ran into Spotter and Downhill. A couple folks had in Sobo. And uh, we were talking to them about the infamous crossing at Marble. We talked to another girl who was Sobo, and she gave us some pointers. They said it wasn't. It was, it was going to be like at least thigh deep. So I don't know how much that's going to slow us down. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. All those little beavers have made sort of a mess. Right. Summit Katahdin. Right. Oh, so we got sort of a bridge here. It's not like a bridge bridge, but it's better than skipping on rocks. Sun's out, obviously. Okay, well, I don't know if I trust myself to do this with film at the same time. I know. I'm gonna get a new phone when we get back. Could be getting one sooner. <laughs> Ever since that bridge, the trail's gotten a lot rockier. Um, we've been going along a stream, across water. Um, we're definitely getting closer to the place where the beavers have been playing. But it just slows you down. You just gotta take your time. After that last shot, we started getting stepping stones. And these things have been going on for a really long time. Trail maintainers have done a lot of work. You don't always need them. Um, if it's dry, you can step off, but it sure is nice to have them so you don't get in all the mud. Just ran to another sobar who said that the mud was tricky, so we'll just have to ponder it when we get there. Hopefully we won't get too messy, but we probably will. Well, we just met Emily and Franco, who are sobos, and they're gonna try to finish in four or five months. And uh, we were trying to give them all the tips we could, uh, they're gonna have a great hike. They look really excited. Now they said they left their shoes on and marched straight through the mud, which was impressive because Emily looked super clean for somebody who'd just been thigh deep in mud. But I think we're gonna still do the Tiva trick. I'll be glad when this part's over. Okay, we're here. This looks really gnarly. Um, I, I just, I got nothing. I'm gonna put on my water shoes and hope for the best. Okay, we just came through it's like in two sections. If you stick to the sticks, it's not bad. I mean, the water is disgusting, and I think I saw leeches, but Rich thinks... The beaver okay, here's the beaver dam. Let's come over here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, guys, I hope you're enjoying it, because we're not. Um, I'm going to put my phone back away, because it's slippy. it's slippy and disgusting, so sorry. 
we're out the other side. Um, I, yeah, it's just disgusting, but it, it's, in, it's endurable. Um, now we got to go like three tenths of a mile and go through a st another stream, river, whatever. So we're going to just go in our Tevas and clean up on that side. So that wasn't, it wasn't horrible. Um, I would recommend walking on the sticks as much as you can. Some people just leave their shoes on. If you're one of those people that can hike in wet shoes and socks, it's not a bad plan because you can wash them out next stop. Just take your time and you'll be fine. We have arrived at crossing number two. Now people say that if you watch the water, you can see where the rocks are and you can see where it's not as deep. Um, looks to me like it might be here. There's the rocks and there. it doesn't look very deep. And then you just have to figure out how to get over to get up. Because if you go straight through, it's like waist deep. So that's not good. Both made it safely across. If you go right along that rock line, um, do not try to stand on the big rocks. They're slippery. Work your feet down into the gravel and just come straight up this way. You'll be fine. So now we're going to change back into our shoes. Somewhere near here is what's called Rocky Beach. We may have already passed it. Um, I didn't see any access back and forth. There was a little tiny path back there. Uh, we're looking for a place to eat lunch. It's pretty here, but we're not going to go scrabbling down there, I don't think. Hopefully we'll find a place soon. We stopped here and got water and had lunch. Um, we are 10.7 from Monson, so we're just going to see how it goes. If we feel like going all the way in, we will. If not, we'll find a place in camp. What we have is a failure to communicate. You need to move. Go on. Go on. Go, go, go. Go on. That's not the right way. Well, anyway, we'll work. Just, I didn't need that. My heart just pumped. Oh, he's just little. He's just little. Yeah, okay. Bye, Snake. We're still just walking along the river. I can't remember the name of it. It has a Q in it. <laughs> it's the one that we forded. Um, and I'm not sure how much longer we'll go along it. We're supposed to have a view coming up, so I would assume we're going to do a little climbing. But we're just sort of following the trail, not paying a whole lot of attention to what Far Out has to say. We have come 12 and a half miles. Well, I took a picture of the sign for the lean-to. I thought I was recording, but apparently I was not. And that was where we were going to stop originally. But it's only like 2.15. And so Rich and I are, you know, in unison that we are going to forge onward. Um, the view, miles. how many miles? 13, 13 miles. Whew, we crazy. Um, we got to get to 21.7. Uh, that view that I was thinking was coming up was actually what I shot of the river. Pisqua something or other. Um, now, I know we have to climb, uh, maybe not right away, but eventually we have to go up one more hill. Uh, I think we maybe have like a thousand feet left to climb over the course of the remainder, so hopefully it won't be all at once. Well, we just had to ford the river again, the Pascaquitas or whatever the heck it is. We elected not to take our shoes off. Rich did better than I did, just his toes are wet. My, both my feet are basically wet. But we had stopped and talked to Claire. Um, she's a flipper. She had to take off in the middle of her hike because she's a fisherman in Alaska and couldn't afford not to make the income. So she was super nice. She said Shaw's was full. So we will probably be tenting if we do get to Shaw's unless we find somewhere else to stay. Um, we have basically 6.7 to go. And it's three o'clock. This is Lake Hebron. Um, some of the comments say people like camping here. Other people say the mosquitoes are really bad. Um, it's beautiful. And there certainly would be tenting sites. Uh, we are about four miles from the car. We've got to get over Buck Hill. Uh, and then the climbing will be done. We still have like 600 feet to climb which is gonna really stink after all this many miles. That is beautiful. How many, how big? We climbed Buck Hill. Uh, there's supposed to be a view here of Lake Hebron, but it's mostly obstructed. Sorry, I just crashed into a tree trying to get over here. There it is. They don't tell you what these mountains are. 
we are two miles from the car and it's time to go there. Well, we are in a bog. There's not much to see. Glad for the nice boardwalk through it. And we're probably a mile from the car. It is 5.30. So all things considered, time-wise we've done well. But I think we're both ready to be done. We are here at Shaw's and that's our tent. Um, they didn't have any privates and we just decided we need to dry it out anyway. So we're sleeping in the tent. Uh, we got here and a former through hiker had Trail Magic Pizza. And so we had pizza and getting ready to get showers and uh, just get settled in. And tomorrow we'll do all the things. Good evening. We're at Shaw's in the tent in the backyard. Yes, and there's That's people at the fire pit, so we're going to probably keep this short. We got here late and our place was full. And This is fine. We had to set up the tent and dry it out anyway. Yeah. So. so, yeah, we've got a shower. But we got here as I think I... I don't remember if I talked about it or not, but we got here and uh, there was pizza trail magic. So we had pizza for now. It's cool. And we got our free beer for checking in. And I, I, I might have got two. He might have. And we had a shower and now we're in the tent. Yeah. Today was good. It was long. Yeah. Um, it was really nice to hike all day and get some good miles, done. Good miles in. Yeah. You know, missed being able to do that. You know, I mean, we get up here, it's so hard to do any miles, but once you get this far up in the main... It gets uh, easier. The so trails, far, anyway. We'll the, see what happens the in the trails. Tomorrow. The treadways get a lot better where you can make some make some miles. I mean, there's still craziness, but it's not like it was down south Maine. Right. Southern Maine is just <laughs> nuts. <laughs> but we survived the fjording. Yeah. And we survived the beaver beaver ball. Yeah, there was there was that, it's, it's there's so much fear mongering on trail about stuff. It's crazy. It was there was nothing to it. Yeah, I, you just use good judgment. Yeah. So anyway, we're just gonna get some sleep and tomorrow we'll be a figure out what happens next day and we may be going into the mile on Monday. Just see well, how it goes. It might be too early based on your preliminary schedule. We gotta work all this out. Um some friends are gonna uh, help us with the car, which is amazing yeah I, I have no words yeah but but we oh. got to work the logistics out there um one of the guys here told us that the gazebo across from the at lodge was the only place you could put a car so yeah we'll, we'll figure all that but i'm gonna say good night because i'm tired <laughs> yeah we're both really gassed <laughs> thanks for watching night guys night.